Hello Firefly Anime here, and it is that time again for another monthly anime figure loot haul roundup. I will be doing this one solo since my poor husband is sick, but I think he also um, passed his cold on to me because I kind of feel it coming, so thanks to him. So without further ado, let's jump into this haul. So the first thing I got is the Figma of Re Kuroki from Vivid Red Operation, and I got her from Crunchyroll. She was part of one of the Crunchyroll deals of the day. And though I have the anime, I have not seen it yet, but her character looked quite cute and badass, so I just went ahead and picked her up. I believe there is one other character that has a Figma, so I will have to pick her up somewhere along the way, just so this poor girl's not alone. But she looks pretty cool. For the next figure, I have to give a shout out to my friend here on YouTube, Vile Mariner, for pointing me in the direction of an MFC seller who was selling this figure. I got the Max Factory 1 8 scale of Carmen 99 from the series Gunsword, and with this, my Gunsword Max Factory figure collection is now complete, so I'm really, really happy about this. Um, she also suggested that I do a video overview of these figures, so look forward to that, I guess, if anybody is interested. Um, I know it is a bit of an older series, but I think Max Factory did a really great job on these figures overall, and yeah, I can't wait to show them off. On to the Amiyami portion of the haul, as always for last. Um, I finally got a copy of the new postcard that they have, and yeah, it is quite cute and colorful and fun. This is just what it looks like in the back. So, of course I got some things from the sale section because, you know me, I cannot resist on me on me sale section for some reason. So the first thing I picked up is this little squishy charm, and it is from Capybara-san Cafe, and it is a double ice mascot uh, choco and mint charm, and I had no idea it was a squishy, I thought it was just going to be like a keychain or something, but yeah, and it... It even smells a little bit like chocolate ice cream, which I really wasn't expecting, but kind of cool. It is pretty cute. The next thing I got is a big deck of strap charm from the series Yuki Yuna wa Yusha de Aru, or Yuki Yuna is a Hero. Um, and this is the character Mimori Togo. And you can't see, but this is what it'll look like on the back. Um, I have not seen this anime yet, but I know I'm going to watch it eventually. And I thought this charm was quite cute, so I went ahead and picked it up. And I got another strap charm. This one from the Madoka Magica series, so of course this is of the main character, Madoka Konami. And it looks pretty cute, kind of see on the back. The, well not final thing from the cell section, but final small thing I picked up is a character notebook from the series Kuragahime, or Princess Jellyfish as it is known in English, and this is of the character Mayaya. I was hoping to get either one of the main main characters, like Kuronosuke or um, Tsukimi, but she is a really interesting character too, and actually reminds me of a friend I had in school, so yeah. Really cool to see more Princess Jellyfish uh, merchandise popping up out there. So this next figure I picked up from the sale section as well, which I'm glad I got her when I did because it seemed like for some reason she inexplicably went up a little bit in price, even though she was still in the sale section, but yeah. Anyways, this is the 1-6 scale of Elaine from the series Queen's Blade, and this figure is from Orchid Seed. I'll kind of show you the back so you can get a better look at it. Um, Queen's Blade was one of those series I was a bit surprised by. I watched it, um... What was it a couple months ago when Crunchyroll was losing the first two seasons or so? We went ahead and marathoned it, and I really did not think I would like it at all. Like, it looked too etchy, just too much, um, not my taste, but I was pleasantly surprised. It had enough of a storyline, and the music was quite good, and I ended up liking the characters as well, so I kind of liked it a lot more than I thought. But yeah, when I saw her in the sales section, and this is an alternative color from the original release, I believe, so she is a lot more tanner. But this figure is really cool looking, so I could not pass on her. Love the little leaf bikini thing. So, yeah, maybe I'll do an unboxing of her. And of course, a monthly haul would not be complete without a, at least one or two figures from the pre-owned section. 
Um, this one is a Ban Presto prize figure of Cure Sword from the series Doki Doki Precure. Again, um, not a series I have seen, but I really liked her character design because she is in purple and that's actually my favorite color. But I know I will delve into the Precure series um, at some point. I know there are quite a few uh, seasons to, to watch, but I really like Magical Girl shows, so I'm thinking I should like it. And even though I'm trying to stray away from getting prize figures, I don't think there was a scale of this character. And she was fairly cheap, so that's why I picked her up. Another figure from the pre-owned section I got is another Kaon Beach Queen, and this is Ritsu Tanaka. So I am slowly picking away at those. And I like how she even comes with um, an alternative hair part, so you don't have with her headband, but she looks like such a totally different character uh, without it. Another bit of a random figure that I picked up is the Sayaka Miki Kaposh from Madoka Magica. So with this, my Madoka Magica Kaposh collection is now officially complete. Except for, I, like I said again and again, I will probably have to rebuy Madoka just because she is broken. So, 99.9% .9 there. So, on to the figures that I pre-ordered um, for the first time in my history of pre-ordering figures, which isn't very long. Um, this is the first time that pre-ordered figures have come out on time for me without a delay. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. But the first thing I got is from Mega House, and it is the one-tenth scale of Usagi Tsukino from, of course, the series Sailor Moon. And this is part of the World Uniform Operation series, which... I believe is sort of like the school uniform answer to the Beach Queen series, even though they're different companies, but just a one-tenth scale of uh, character from a series in their school uniform is the whole premise of this line. But yeah, I thought it'd be really cute to have a figure of Usagi in her school uniform, and I've actually heard this is a pretty nice figure, so I don't know for sure if I'm going to be collecting the rest of the series. And the final pre-ordered figure I got, which I think I was most excited about, is the SH Figure Arts um, Sakura Kinomoto from, of course, Cardcaptor Sakura. And yeah, I kind of chose this one over the Figma that even though, you know, the Figma will probably be really nice, I was tempted by the design of this figure and also the um, first come pre-order, um, first release uh, bonuses that they included with this set. So the box is really quite tiny, which is nice, and it's my first SH Figure Arts figure, so I don't really know much about this line and how their quality of figures are, but I think it's really cool. Um, the box design is actually looks like the um, Book of Cloud Cards, which I think is really cool. And um, I think some of the pre-order content is in the box itself, but outside of the box they gave me this kind of cloth bandana deal, which is a pretty nice bonus, I think. Sort of looks like the seal. So, yeah, that is it for my March figure loot haul video. Um, until next time, thanks for watching.